Let's find the acceleration of a Lunchly box on a 30 degree ramp, ignoring friction. It's the Lunchly's weight that pulls it down, right? Damn right it does. But since we're on a 30 degree incline, only a component of that force actually pulls the Lunchly down the ramp. And the other component will push into the ramp. Whoa, 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 how did you get that sign and cross stuff from W? Oh, you gotta give it, that's so good too. Trig on that thing. <laughs> Let's tilt our view, Logan, to make this easier to teach. Great idea. Now notice how the components of the weight force actually line up to make a beautiful right triangle? Oh uh, yeah, so like the weight is the hypotenuse. Yes, and since the ramp is 30 and this is 90, knowing angles inside a triangle need to add to 180 tells us this is 60, and this whole thing is 90, so this has got to be 30 degrees. Chat. Did I cook? Yes, you did, Haley. Oh, I see it now. So Katoa, so sine of 30 equals opposite over hypotenuse. Stop, 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 stop. We, I, we said the hypotenuse is the Lunchly's weight. Oh, yes, yeah, so opposite over weight. Yep, so rearranging, we find out that W sine 30 is the size of this force. And now to figure out the acceleration, we can use Newton's second law. That's F equals MA, right? That. So here we can make out that this force equals the Lunchly's mass times its acceleration in this direction. And remember, weight is also mass times acceleration caused by gravity gravity G. So if we solve for A now, what do we get? I got 4.9. 4.9 meters per second squared. 